So what are the best tools right now for getting more done when it comes to creating content, for getting more views on your YouTube videos, and for ultimately boosting productivity with the huge trend, and that is artificial intelligence. I'm super fired up to be hanging out with Nikki Saunders. Love your content. Thank you. We're here in San Diego, and you have 10 tools. Yes. So I wanna break these down. The first one is Get Munch. What's that? Oh man, that is an amazing tool where they take all your long form videos and they chop it up into vertical videos based off keywords so what's cool about this one is that it actually takes what's happening on YouTube and it shows like the competition as far as what people are searching for is a high low competition and it'll create clips based off that so from let's say a 30 minute to an hour video it'll chop up about like 10 to 15 different clips if you have maybe a two to minute two to five minute one it chop up like three or four it gives you subtitles it gives you an actual caption to put on social media it's fire yeah so then you could go youtube shorts or then distribute that instagram reels absolutely. all the other places absolutely and people are so busy and they wonder, man, how do I get those cool captions? How do I have the time to edit all these different versions? Right. This is gonna do that for you. Right. Awesome, all right, number two is ChatGPT. Yeah. A lot of people have heard about it, but how are you using it? So I'm using it for multiple reasons. Captions, say I need an Instagram caption, a YouTube video description on, and you give it the topic, and it's gonna give you a great foundation. What I don't, what I do suggest is don't copy and paste exactly what it is. You still gotta put your own swag, your own kind of voice to it, but captions is really good, video scripts, research standpoints, any question that I may have about a topic, I'll ask ChatGPT, and so it'll help me from a research standpoint. ChatGPT is everything and it continues to grow based off the input that we give it. If you speak to it like a, a person, it's gonna speak back to you like a person. So the skill sets to master the prompts. Yes. You might say like act as a real estate expert. Yes. Act as a parenting expert. Yes. And then get it to start you out. But it's also just giving you the raw material so then you can add your own swag, add your own Absolutely. voice. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's always going to give you the foundation. It's never, the, these AI tools are never going to give you pretty much everything that you need. It's still too early in the game, but it, it gives you that it's so efficient and it'll give you back your time. Number three is video AI. How do yep. you spell that and what is the tool? So V-I-D-Y-O AI, right? Okay. And so it's just like Get Munch. It, it takes your long form videos and it creates the short form videos for you. And what I like about video AI over Get Munch is that it'll give you different templates. So you can have it have like a frame in the back. You can add your own social media handles on it. It's, it's a little bit more customizable, but it does the same exact thing. It takes it based off keywords and it'll find the best clips for you. That's amazing. Yeah, I used that one the other day. I think for free, it gave me almost an hour of minutes. Mm -hmm. I uploaded a video podcast. Yep. It lets you export 720p for free. You yeah. do the paid, you could do 1080. Yep. And and it is actual AI. It found clips. I didn't like them all, but I, right. so I clicked play, but I was like, man, this, this did all the heavy lifting for me. And it actually found the moment as if like an intelligent person was watching the video to find something worthy of posting on social. Yep. And so that's video AI, that's number three. Number four is CapCut and break it down. What is this one? So CapCut is I find like video friendly everything. So everything from even captions, so those fancy captions that we love to see, it has dynamic captions. It could do the transitions, it could do titles, it can format it however you want it to be. Um, anything that you need video wise from splitting it to making it vertical, CapCut does everything but what it's really getting known for right now because of how trendy it is is those captions that we see with it being highlighted as far as the active words yeah some people don't like it but it's like it shows the six yes. words and then the actual word almost yes. like karaoke yes yeah very so, trendy captions yes but they have mul they have different ways of doing that too so if you don't like that particular style it has other ones the free version does a lot you honestly don't even need to pay for the paid version but if you do like those extra features it does have a paid version for that amazing and speaking of captions number five is the captions app yes what's that so as simple as it is it does the captions too but they have ai which is super great they can create a video script right inside of the the app as well as create a teleprompter inside of it so once they write your video script they actually put it on top of the screen so you could record it 
or if you want to record it outside, like let's say on Instagram or TikTok, it will actually create a notification that says, hey, this is what you have to say while you're in those other apps. Another really cool thing it does is that for all my people that like to look down, right? It instantly creates it to where you are always looking at. It's kind of freaky. Yeah. It always looking it's at the, the camera. It's the eyes AI. Yes. So you're, it's always making eye contact. Yes. Even if you were reading from somewhere else. Yes. Kind of a game changer. It, kind of it's, crazy. It's, it's really crazy. So it allow you to read a script looking to the side, right. but yet be connected. And that's a big deal. That includes just no. average view duration. It yes. makes the viewer feel more engaged. Yes. One of the biggest mistakes people make is look at the selfie screen even. Yes. Instead of looking at the lens to make eye contact. Yes. That's pretty crazy that you can literally read a script without a fancy teleprompter. Right. Number six is YouTube summaries via chat GPT. Yep. You use this for podcast research. What's yep. it do? It's a Chrome extension that you could take any YouTube video, press a button, and it goes straight to ChatGPT and summarizes, regardless if it's a five minute video or a three hour video, it summarizes it for you. And then following up in ChatGPT, you can say, hey, give me the best quotes. Give me YouTube community post ideas. It could do everything just based off that summary. Then I just put my own take onto it. So that, that YouTube summary with ChatGPT extension, game changer. Amazing. Number seven is mid journey for doing yep. AI graphics. Yes. How's this work? Oh, this is all those pretty AI, uh, like super detailed art that you've been seeing is probably come from mid journey. And it's really whatever you want, whatever you thinking, you could type it. It's in discord, right? And so literally you just got to put a prompt like slash imagine and I want a lion in the New York uh, streets wearing a hoodie and it will pop up. It'll give you four different um, choices that you can either say, hey, I want version one, do a little bit more of those or just upscale it. But anything that you can imagine, anything that you could type now, of course, just like how with ChatGPT, the more descriptive that you are, the better. Mm. So if you just put lion in New York, It'd be very basic, but if you go uh, lion in a hoodie, black and gold hoodie, uh, 4K render, uh, cinematic lens in Adobe Premiere Pro, it will come up super amazing. So be descriptive in these AI tools, especially with Mid Journey, because the output of it and the graphic is going to look amazing. And I know it's a sensitive topic for some people, but yeah. as technically the rights to that artwork then could be used all over your social media because mm -hmm. it's it's original AI that yep. they're letting you use. Yep, so even they have it where in the paid versions, because you could do this for free, but in the paid versions, they actually have it in their uh, like policy where you can monetize on those, Got it. those, those things. So if you're doing the free version, I'll say do not put it everywhere, but if you do have the paid version, then you're able to like put it on shirts. You can make it posters, however you want to monetize it because it's in their actual policy. Got it. All right. Number eight is Megaphone and you're distributing your audio podcast. This is a Spotify feature. Yes. What is this all about? So um, this is just a platform that I'm using that allow me to distribute the audio to Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, everything, but also will allow me to do kind of uh, like a private podcast. So not only does it distribute and make all my stuff for free, but then I can cater to my community and create like an after show just for that. And it will still go on Spotify, it'll still go on Apple and people can now, uh, you're able to monetize your, your podcast in that standpoint. So Megaphone has been really helpful. For and is that podcast. free? That is, no, they, there is a paid version. It goes based off a bit of downloads, but it's really dope. Gotcha, gotcha. Cool one. Okay, number nine, this is a productivity tool you use. Mm -hmm. You're using Notion. How do yes. you use it? So Notion is literally my second brain yeah. when it comes to content. I have literally all my to-do lists. I have my, um, my content world is what I call, which is my content calendar. I have my video scripts. I have my research as far as what content has been doing, like a database of what's working, what's not working. So it's really just a drag and drop for me. And for, if for me, it's, it'll allow me to be visual too. I can add pictures to it. I could add graphs to it. Um, it's a mobile app, it's a computer, it's an iPad mm -hmm. situation, mm -hmm. it's everything. I just like simplicity. And so Notion is able to do that. 
And then you also mentioned under productivity meme AI yes, or something? M M M E M A I. So this one I'm actually using right now on top of Notion because the more that you give it, the more it organizes it for you. I'm not the best organizer. I'm a very spontaneous person. So majority of my notes and things like that is all over the place. The Apple notes and other ones, it's, it's hard to organize it or being very intentional. With Mem, it just automatically does it through AI. Amazing. And then number 10 is 11 Labs. What's yes. that? Yes. Oh, this has to be the best voice cloning, which is scary. Yeah. It's very, very scary. There is a video that shows like Leonardo DiCaprio speaking as himself. Not as an expert, but as a concerned citizen. One of the 400,000 people who marched in the streets of New York on Sunday. And the billions of others around the world who want to solve our climate crisis. It's very scary, but... I think this is great, especially for people who may not want to do voiceovers, may not even like their voice or anything like that, to where they literally send a sample, like a probably a minute sample of their voice, and they type whatever they want, and it actually says it for you in your style. Subscribe to Think Media. Now there's, of course, it's AI, so it's, it's not super, super perfect, but it has to be one of the best ones that I've ever heard. If you put music underneath it, you can't really tell the difference. Yeah. So how I use it is for like the podcast ads, right? The the audio ads. I'll use it for a voiceover. I'll use it for um, a shoot. Uh, I'm working on an ebook. I'm doing that. I'm reading it through the AI situation. So anything voice wise that you may need that you may not have a mic for that you may not just be in an area to record at that moment you could type it and you can download it and you can put it anywhere you need it amazing well that's 10 powerful tools if people want to check out with you where can they find you online what are you up to well, that's easy at this is nikki's on instagram right nikki and moose podcast youtube all your podcast players and of course deeper than the brand.com appreciate you so much thanks for coming on absolutely